Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Out here doing a little tinkering on the boat. I'm always tinkering. Um, today's video is something I see asked so many times on all the live scope, chan uh, live scope channels. Do I have my transducer set correctly? And, and I can understand where it can be confusing because there's three different notches on each side. And then if you don't have your AHRS on, that's a whole different ballgame. But we won't even cover that. What we're going to cover today is I'm going to go over your basic, basic starboard and port settings for how to set the trolling motor. And guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. But let's get right into this video because this is a video a lot of people need to see. This is a basic setup. This is for when you install it and you want to get started. So let's get going. All right. So we're going to... Uh, for this video, this is the first part of the video. I'm going to say that this is the pole. This is on the starboard side of my pole. If it were mounted on a Garmin site, it would be mounted right here. Uh, it, it would be mounted here. And depending on, like, if you had the, the perspective mount, it would be sticking out here. And then you'd fold it in here. But for this purpose... It is on the starboard side. Now, the reason it is angled like this is this is how my cover has to fit. It won't fit any other way. But when you're on the starboard side, the correct orientation for forward is that right there. You want this part. Now, this is the starboard side. Very. Make sure we understand that. Starboard side, this flat, this angled back. I know, my tr I know it's tilted slightly, but the trolling motor won't go in the water because it hits the spare tire. So let's, take, let's step back from this and let's look at it. It's on the starboard side, and that is the angle for starboard. Now, what we can do is we'll come up here, and let me click off this. See how the full screen is picking up? If I had it like this, which is how some people do it. And then they say, man, it's not reading right, it's flipped. Let's take a look at the, look at here. See how it's on partial screen? That's because it's angled down. The computer automatically, when you calibrate your compass, and when you calibrate your compass, and I had a video on that the other day, when you calibrate your compass, it automatically recognizes, recognizes which side you have uh, it on and will adjust it and flip it accordingly. So on the starboard side, and I want you to watch the screen as I do it. One click, two clicks, there we go. Now, that is the starboard side. Make sure that focus is in. Now, this is where it can get a little tricky because I'm gonna have to you're going to have to work with me on this. It's not wanting to focus. So I'm going to stop the video, and I'm going to set up a, a video where it's on the port side. All right. So now we see, here's the front of the boat. This is the left side, or the port side. Now, the, the transducer is on the left side, or the port side. Now, this is where it differs in how you must set it up. When it's on this side... If you still had it tilted like this, it would read, be reading behind the boat because it recognizes, and there it goes. It's, it's fool, I'm fooling it right now. But what you have to do when you're on the port side, the, star, the left side, the top is flat, and this part is angled. And that is uh, important. There it is. I, I got it back right. I kind of fooled it there for a second. But... See how we got it? You got the top flat port side, angled front. And if we were to go back to the starboard side, I'll just rotate it around. That's how I kind of did this. If we were to go wreck around, now it's on the starboard side. That angle is the correct angle there. I hope this helps. If this doesn't help, I'll try even better to put out a video that can help you. But I think this is a pretty simple, I see a lot of the little illustrations and things like that. And when I see those illustrations, 
they don't, uh, you know, it's hard, to, it's hard to take that to the boat. But if you can sit here and you see somebody point to it and say, you know, starboard side, the right side of the boat, or the driver's side of the boat and in a boat, or the port side is the left side of the boat or the passenger side of the boat, makes it maybe a little bit easier to understand. I think this is a video that can help some people, especially in the beginner, making sure you have your orientation right. Because I promise you, if you have it uh, done wrong and you don't have it calibrated, you'll be thinking you're looking out and you'll be looking in or vice versa. And then that right there is going to drive you insane because you'll never see your bait. You'll never see the fish you'll be, and you'll be lost completely. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. You guys are awesome.